It's Harry Potter versus Voldemort. I wonder who will win. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part two. Only I can live forever. Yes, it's true. Pretty much everyone knows how this movie is going to end. Yet the Harry Potter movies have always been more about the journey than the destination, with fans flocking to theaters to see how Hollywood's version of J.K. Rowling's beloved books compares to their own. And after 10 years, it's safe to say Hollywood has done a pretty darn good job. The first seven films have grossed over $6 billion worldwide, making it the highest grossing film franchise of all time, not accounting for inflation. However, while only eight films have ever crossed the one billion mark, none of them have been a Harry Potter film. In fact, the first film has still come the closest to joining that elite billion dollar club, but Warner Brothers likes the chances of this final film. Not only is this the last Harry Potter movie ever, which should translate into the highest form of must-see status there is, but it's also the only Harry Potter movie to be offered in 3D. And while 3D has been a burden to most films this summer, it's done wonders for Transformers 3 and is accounting for around 60% of that film's box office. If Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 does that kind of 3D business, it might even give James Cameron a run for his money at the very top of that billion dollar list. And now that the franchise is ending, one has to wonder if Warner Brothers and J.K. Rowling will be able to truly end such a colossal moneymaker. Also, will the Academy give it any recognition come February all over the Lord of the Rings? What will be the legacy of the Harry Potter franchise, and what's in store for its stars? Check out Beyond the Trailer's special episode detailing just that, as well as the history of the franchise, by clicking here. Now let's go find out what audiences think of this final film. It's over. How do you feel? I, I, you know, just like any other thing, I mean, it's over, it's over, but I liked it. I really liked it. I promised myself not to cry, but you know, it got a little emotional at the, uh, at the end. There were people bawling their eyes out when the sad stuff happened. Were you one of them? <laughs> I've always liked it. I've always, I remember seeing every movie in the theater. I, mem I remember everything. Well, how do, you, like, how do you really, feel that it's over? I feel sad, seriously. I cried like five times oh. in the theater. It was 10 years of books and movies, and I, I don't know, it's over. I don't know how to feel about that yet. Oh. <laughs> I feel mad. Oh, there should mad. be more books oh, no. and movies. Yeah? Are you How big of a Harry Potter fan are you? 100%. Do you want it to be over? Or do you secretly want Warner Brothers to come back? No? You want it to be over? It ended very nice. I don't want it to come back. Oh, you because, don't? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just wanted to end, so it just ended so perfectly. My heart is still beating. I didn't want to end. Uh, I was thinking about not to go watch it because, like, I don't want it to end. You know, it's, it's such a, such a, such an amazing story. Well, we went to the midnight showing yesterday. <gasps> so you've seen it twice so already. This is the second yeah. time we've seen it in oh, less great. than 24 hours, and we've seen it twice. <laughs> less than 12 hours, actually. <laughs> How long did you guys wait online last night? Five hours. Five hours. Five hours. Five Five hours. hours. Did you get good seats? Pretty good. Well, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Five, you, with this, I saw people waiting for 10 hours yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? So it was definitely yeah. worth the wait. Oh, wow. Definitely. It was a spectacular finish. Really? Yes. Oh, so they pulled out all the stops? Uh, it was a little bit less action than the not the book itself, but it's a spectacular freaking movie. Did it have more action than the last uh, part A lot one? more action yeah. than the last one. <laughs> I say it was the best one. Uh, with the first one, of course. I think David Yates. This is this is best Harry Potter film. Wow. They they really just did like a homage to the fans. I was very disappointed because it wasn't following the book at all. I, oh. I thought they left out a lot of scenes and they added their own scenes. Oh, it was all about aesthetics and they wanted to make it look right, but I don't know. That's a big issue throughout the franchise. Some people have felt you know stuff from the book is left out. Yeah. The final one. Are they more faithful? The same? I'd say they're about the same. There were some scenes, you know, they didn't include, but those were, you know, minor details, and they didn't need to be in the movie eventually. But yeah, it, was, it, was, it, it followed the books. I actually haven't read the books. I'm, I'm sad to say I haven't read them. Um, Me neither. I watched <laughs> yeah. the movies. I watched exactly. the movies. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to try and pick up at the seventh book, though, because I'm very curious to see what the differences are from the movie and from the book. The books were m more emotional. Yeah. I mean, at the end, I prefer the books. Was you know, it's a different feeling. At the end of the film, it was like I need something more emotional. You know, ah. something more like 
it's the end or something. I thought the end was kind of, I don't know. The overall ending, I know they had to refilm it because um, they felt it wasn't perfect yeah. when they actually do film in the production. But um, it still felt a little rushed. Oh, that whole really? epilogue ending. Oh, I yeah. felt personally it was a little Definitely. rushed. What did you think of the ending? There's a lot of people mixed feelings on the ending. Mm, not, not necessary. What did you guys think of the 3D? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's exactly worth it, you know, because usually for 3D, you know, I prefer when the stuff is coming right yeah. at, at you, but it wasn't quite worth it, the money, I guess. If I knew that it wasn't that good in 3D, I wouldn't bought it. But you know, it's it's a few bucks more. It's not that bad. The 3D wasn't really needed, but I like uh, I still liked it the same. That's what, how 3D is basically. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you think it's worth seeing in 3D? No. How about in IMAX? Absolutely IMAX. IMAX, okay. And they they come, they come together, so you. <laughs> right? I mean, take the good with the bad. Yeah. I mean, the IMAX experience for just how big the action is is worth it, but the 3D, I really wasn't too impressed with it. Oh, okay. Are you gonna miss this franchise? Yes, I am. What do you think you're gonna remember the most about the franchise? The characters. Oh, really? And, yeah. And uh, the story development. It's amazing. It's really good. Just growing up with it and seeing the visual effects, that was mainly what attracted me to the first film. And definitely the characters, because you just, they just grow on you yeah. after 10 years. I remember going to see Chamber of Secrets back in 2002, I guess, and um, just talking with my parents about it and how great it was to see. I'm fascinated by magic and it was just it was completely unbelievable that these things were happening before me it was a creation of a new franchise an amazing franchise I'll never forget it what do you give this movie on a 1 to 10 I give it a 9 out of 10 8.5 8.5 8. to 9 for me okay yeah. what do you think about 7 oh I don't. oh you're not a Harry Potter fan you're not a happy Harry Potter fan what would you give it I would say an 8.5 10 10 well, this was a BTT first. A lot of people coming out of the theater were crying and didn't want to be on camera. But for those Harry Potter fans we did speak to, they were a little disappointed with the film, overall giving it a 9. And if you want to toast Harry Potter's finale yourself, check out Working Class Foodie's episode on how to make your own butterbeer. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.